Before we get into the video, if you want to learn how to play Shangwan and use her abilities because it's a bit complicated, I have made a complete guide video for her. I'll put the link in the description and also in the pinned comment. So make sure to check it out. And uh, in this video, I'm going to play, play as a jungler, but I won't recommend that. Always go for the mid lane with Flash. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button to show your support. I've been getting a lot of support in my recent video and you guys don't know how much helpful and motivating it is to see a lot of likes in the videos. And with all that being said, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be playing Shangguan with the jungle item. Uh, as you can see, I'm having the punish. The problem was, I was not uh, given the mid lane role. And so, uh, the person who got the mid lane role was our Sima Yi. As you can see, he's going in the middle uh, lane, right? And he was so stubborn. I thought when he picked Sima Yi, he will maybe go to the jungle because he's a jungle hero. But then he was so stubborn. So I decided to play Shangguan in the jungle because why not? I have already played uh, Zata in the jungle in uh, AOE and COT, so this shouldn't be of uh, like that much different, right? And also, guys, uh, this is a very fast paced match it's going to be a very interesting one so make sure to watch till the end and you're going to enjoy every single bit of it it's going to be full of movement full of fighting full of farming and also i've noticed that a lot of you guys have trouble with farming uh, most of the comments in my recent videos are how do you have so much farm how are you able to farm that much and in this video i'll teach you how as you can see, I'm going through the jungle as fast as possible and I'm ignoring this creep. Instead, I'm going to gank the bottom lane and look at that. Instant double kill to start off the game. After getting the kill, I also come near this uh, show you and share a little bit of gold with him while uh, he is clearing his minions. It doesn't affect him in any way because as a jungler, you will not be allowed to steal. You will not be able to steal waves from your teammates. But if you are nearby, you will get some gold. So it's better than uh, nothing, right? So right there, I got two kills. I also got a little bit of gold from those minions. Okay. And since the sage buff isn't spawned yet, I'm coming and look at what I'm attacking. I was using my abilities directly on the minions and only after clearing the minions I used my ultimate and I killed uh, this guy I don't know his name Liampo yeah Liampo and then uh, since our uh, Prince of Landling who is the DS laner is nowhere to be seen I also cleared that wave so my gold is just like it's, it's really high right now for someone at this level and uh, we are coming back to our second jungle rotation this is going to be much faster and th this is what i said we don't wait anywhere in this match we just go around the map get all the kills form very fast and uh, we try to end the match and get a dub okay as we, as i said uh, the second jungle rotation is always going to be faster than the first one and we just look at that i have a lot of gold and i'm just one shotting this smaller creeps and two shotting these bigger ones uh, the might buff might uh, take some time and carry is with me uh, as a support and uh, without that it would be very hard uh, for us to jungle with this hero because she's not very good at dealing damage to creeps but since i have the support with me all the time i'm here I'm, i don't have a problem with that and look at look at that where can like <laughs> there is there are not many heroes who can escape from five dashes right so we can pretty much chase and kill any hero and again see i shared the gold i i was with show you while he was clearing so it gave me a little bit of extra gold i also got a kill and i'm coming to the middle lane now trying to get another kill our support got the kill before i could go in i would have got the kill uh, but still yeah look at this damage she was at full HP and just S1 and S2 and that much damage and that is because I have a lot of gold. And now since the sage buff is not up yet, what am I going to do? Go to the top lane. And here we are at the top lane. I am attacking the minions and also this guy at the same time and we got... Okay, this was an assist. So, and I'm also like helping uh, Prince of Landin clear the waves. And thereby I'm getting like what, 25, 30 gold per minion. And over time, even though 25 gold and 30 gold doesn't seem like a lot, over time it will stack up and at the end you will see how much of a gold advantage I have. And immediately after that, back to the jungle. Back to the jungle. 
flawless jungling and flawless rotation going on right now this is the best case scenario okay i tried to ult but uh, she is a bit different from sata and at, at times i get uh, confused and uh, i miss my ultimate now and then uh, it's like taking it will take some time for me to like adapt to this hero because sata uh, in some cases he is a bit different he has uh, a different range he has different uh, mechanisms even when it comes to his ultimate but uh, she's just uh, like more easy than zata i guess so yeah okay clearing the wave here see first first clear the wave and then attack the enemy so i have my priority straight i know i can kill her and that she's not going to run away anywhere but if i go and kill her immediately i won't be able to get this gold so our marksman will clear it right so instead of just going towards her and getting a kill i got the minions and i also got the kill so the gold is just ramping up more and more and look at that i have five kills and it's five minutes into the game we also got the the tyrant okay their jungler is here i'm going to try and get a kill on her and we got the kill so this is really good because oh okay see my engaged at the wrong time yeah he died okay this is good because our support doesn't have any mana now and uh, she was about to recall but i said since i got the sage buff just now from the enemy jungler i told her to get the sage buff so this is going pretty good so much it's so good that i am even able to give the blue buff to the support as a jungler so that is how good this is and again our prince of landing is nowhere to be seen so instead of wasting uh, these minions i got the gold so the gold is just like ramping up more and more uh, you will hear me say this word more in this um, video but yeah that that is all that is happening okay again another engage okay i missed i missed i missed i missed this is bad this is bad okay i should have just retreated here but i wasn't paying attention to how much damage uh, white colors ultimate was doing to me because i was in his range like usually grack won't deal that much damage right but this guy he does deals a lot of damage and just one first ability from dodge and i was dead um okay again he's here to disturb i guess but i don't know what he's doing bro do you even have any idea how much gold i have oh dodge is here again okay all thanks to our uh, support yari yeah, yeah, i was able to live there like you saw how much hp was left and i had a biggest shield from yari yeah, yeah, when the fight started so if you like subtract that shield i would be dead right now <laughs> and so yeah having uh, yari yeah, yeah, as a support for me to help me go through the jungle very fast and also as a really good uh, extra damage dealer and also a stunner and also a shield is is one of the main reasons why we are able to play like this aggressive and this flawless because shang one jungle won't work right the only way it's working is because i have someone who can help me clear the wave and not now but in the early game right now i can just one shot any wave but in the early game i really needed her help and also uh the reason why i recall you saw that i had a lot of hp but i have no life steal at all and i don't want to die to dodge unless i am at full hp i am pretty sure i will die to dodge in one combo because i'm just a mage and my magic defense is really bad so i just wanted to play it safe i don't want to die and lose a good video or worse lose this whole match so yeah okay got another kill can we get a kill on the dodge our abilities don't reach that far but our prince of landing got the kill and i don't know wh what white color is doing i think he's just giving us another kill okay our marksman got the kill this time and yeah very well played overall i'm playing with the uh, matrixes ana and noxious and uh, they've been uh, really supportive like letting me get the kills <laughs> because i'm re recording for video right so thank you so much guys uh, shout out to you guys okay look at this just one shotting all the creeps pretty much now i don't need a uh, the supports damage to kill the creep now but in the early game it was really necessary and here i go before i go uh, our marksman was able to snipe and get the kill so unfortunate for us but uh, it's okay we got a lot of minions so we didn't come back in empty handed we got more gold than what we would have got if we just got a kill so a kill like on their uh, marksman who's already dead like three or four times is like 150 gold max but we got like 500 gold almost from all those minions so yeah i would say it's, it worked out even better in our favor okay 
just waiting for Yaria to use her third ability. Okay, going in and again missed my uh, ultimate because I I am still like adjusting to how uh, this girl's Shang Wan second ability works. It's a bit different from Zata. Uh, the range is different. Okay, again missed it. It's okay, but the cooldown is not that long. Just like Zata, when you miss it, you don't get the full cooldown. Okay, another kill for me. Okay, this is the one moment I think where I stand still. I just and that was also just for two seconds. I wait to see if someone is coming, but since no one really did, I just started going in. And before I even took off, he died. <laughs> that is how much uh, gold I have. I didn't even need to use the ultimate damaging pot. She just died before that. Okay, we have to play it a bit safe now because Daji is here. And uh, if I get hooked by white color, and Daji can just finish me off with all three of her abilities. If all three managed to hit me. Okay. The blue buff should spawn any moment now, but I'm just going to get this uh, Tyrant Overlord, Overlord while I'm here, because uh, is this the Tyrant? I'm not sure, but this looks like the Tyrant to be honest. But yeah, whatever it is, and yeah, their jungler came in and uh, she stole the uh, Tyrant and also got a kill on me, which was really unfortunate, but well played by her. She got that was like one chance for their team to give a comeback, and uh, she did her best. And she also got a kill on me, so very well played by the enemy jungler. But that shouldn't really matter. Look at how, <laughs> look at how much gold I have, guys. I have twelve thousand gold, guys. I have twelve thousand gold, and it's twelve minutes into the match, and you can see what I'm doing, right? I'm. I've been explaining how I'm getting gold. See, I got these two dragons, and one of them was one hundred and eighty gold, and the other was hundred and twenty gold. Uh, because I didn't get the last hit. If I got the last hit, that would be like 200 gold or something. The minion got the last hit. So yeah. Okay, going in into three, got a kill. Will we get another? I am pretty sure. Yeah, we got another kill, and that's on the white collar, staying out of his passive, the explosion after his death. And once it's done, okay, let's continue our jungle. And yeah, coming back to uh, the gold lead, I am fully built. Yeah. The match is just 12 minutes and 50 seconds into the like long and I'm fully built. I even have the full farm jungle item. So I don't need gold anymore. But my toxic trait is going to just go around the map trying to get all the gold uh, like subconsciously. Like try to clear all the uh, minions and <laughs> yeah that's something I have to work on. So even sometimes when I have full gold I will still be like toxic. I won't be consciously doing that but uh, subconsciously I'm like inclined to go farm and look at that look at that smooth double kill and uh, she even used clicker to get away I think but still ended up dying and uh, okay so 14 kills and our ultimate is almost back the problem one more problem with uh, Shang Wan is uh, that she doesn't have any way to bring her ultimate cooldown okay he's dead he's dead for sure okay got a kill oh the enemy jungler Oh, she didn't even try to attack me. I think she's going somewhere. Ah, okay. You can see in the map, she's just clearing the the wave. I think the wave almost came close to their crystal. So instead of trying to kill me, she prioritized on defending it. And now she's going to die. Unfortunate. Okay, we got our ult. And here we go. That's all. Easy kill. Nothing can be done. Okay, so... Yeah, as I, as I was saying, see the cooldown is 9, 7, 6 and uh, I don't have any way of getting the cooldown down. Uh, like in AOV, if you use S1 and S2 and make a collision, uh, the cooldown will go down by 1, right? And look at this, I wait for the second ability to come and then dash. So I made this mistake two times earlier, right? I used my S2 and immediately dashed. But I soon realized that the S2 like starts off very far away and you have to like wait for some time for it to come close and then only you will be able to dash on it so that is what i did there and i'm, I'm i was really proud that uh, i was able to pull that off we are able to learn like from our mistakes at the start of the match and that is how it should be guys you should learn from your own mistakes um, and yeah look at this the enemy jungler is back and she's got nothing on us yeah we got the kill and that's legendary and that's going to be 20 kills and like i said this is a very fast paced match and please hit the like button once again gentle reminder it, it means a lot to me and it supports the channel a lot and yeah so I really like this hero it's not as fun as Zata because Zata is a bit harder and not everyone can play him but she is a bit easy and since uh, yeah since everyone is playing it doesn't seem so special like she's hard uh, that's for sure not very easy but not as hard as Zata uh, but still very fun 
um so i would recommend you guys to give her a try you can't buy her now for gold you can only buy her with vouchers after two days you will be able to get her with 18,000 gold so don't worry it's not like locked behind vouchers for you guys okay so yeah 20 kills and that's going to be it for today's video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button i hope you all have a really great day and i'll see you guys in the next video